Okay, I felt a little movement. Yeah, I can see down the line down there that we got movement. So let's just continue on. Now I will give you a, maybe a little caution. You want these brackets as close to the center of this flywheel as you can get. Now this one is out a little bit forward and had, had it required any more pressure on this puller, I, I would have stopped and did something different because of the spokes or the weak part of this flywheel and, and you don't want to put any any pressure on those more than minimal. This one is turning quite easy. So I'm not putting very much pressure at all on that. Now I will, I will also tell you that, uh, especially John Deere, a lot of those Gibb keys are driven right up to the flat with the flywheel, and you can drill that Gibb key out, and we will do that later. I've got some that's cut off that way on these McCormick Deerings, and we will, we will, I will do that, but not, not anytime soon. It's just another option of removing a gib key. And this is not the time to be taking a change on breaking a spoke. So just re reposition the puller and push that push that fly that crankshaft on out of there. The surprising part of these whole operations are how hard they are to get apart and once they have all the rust removed from them 
the uh, reassembly will be a loose fit. But this one is going to be kind of tight all the way through. It should have done. It should have done come out of there. And we've used up all of the, all of the. Uh, I better get a brass punch. Used up all the thread on that uh, puller. Ah, it was ready to fall out. Okay, now I can look down in there and see that. That that uh, the center of that flywheel is quite uh, it's quite rusty and dry and uh, it don't look good. But we got it out of there with success, and uh, you can kind of see how long this this video took. And it came right off. Looks good. I think we'll be able to save the flywheel with no problem. It's just dry in there and uh, no lubricant. So, good flywheel. Let's uh, look at the uh, crankshaft. Okay, uh, and this, at, at this point here, we can kind of assess why that, that was so hard to remove. And the, this, whole, this whole mechanism comes off. Okay, now right there is one reason. You see how dry some old grease has been on there, and it's really dry. So that was a... And, and, and inspecting it all the way to the end down there. I see no... Uh, I see no other reason that that was so tight other than that built up grease. Though looks good. It's a little undercut where the pulley went and a little undercut where the bearing went but it's full size where the <clears throat> and I do see a saw mark right there where the end of the flywheel would have been so they have had to uh, and that 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 that, uh, that gib key was only up into that flywheel about uh, about three quarters of an inch that's how tight that was hmm surprising but we got a good crankshaft. The throw's good. The other end's good. So I believe we'll be all right on that crankshaft. We clean that up. Gear's good. The um, the collar. That's good, and it did come off with this part. Uh, this one's free. That's stuck, stuck, stuck. We set that right. And this is the late. This is the late model. I mean, this is a gib key remove video, but I, we'll, we'll talk about some other stuff here as we go. Uh, this is the later model engine, and, and there again, on, on this one right here, you can see that this was stuck, and then the flywheel was turned, and it bent this alignment, and that's that's loose. That, that, that will, well, it's loose, and it's bent over. Oh, that hole right there. That uh, I, I, let me show you this right here. Of all of the engines, oh, that's surprising right there. As a matter of fact, I've never seen one. This right here is the first time in all of my long, uh, all of the amount of years that I have been working on engines. These McCormick Deerings in particular. Not to, not to wonder. This is the first engine that I have ever took apart that did not have wire on this hole in this collar. It's practically no wire whatsoever. I will set that aside for a better engine. And as a matter of fact, that, that pin right there has no wire on it. Oh, if these old engines could talk, but it is stuck fast, but that's, uh, 
I'll get that I'll get that free and it's full full length that, that's going to be a good one right there that'll be a keeper and the uh, taking this apart you know the bearings uh, oh they're dirty but they look good uh, I believe they'll be all right but this is a good example of just what you're going to find on an everyday basis and you can know here in what a 10 minute video or so how long we have been just a matter of minutes uh, removing a gib key without a gib key puller and the gib key and the gib was gone so it can be done from here on the east coast of arkansas shop dog sam let's get on with the show